Hey guys, it's Tyler, and today we're going to talk about the scoreboard function in Minecraft and how you can use it to help your PvP slash survival experience. So we're going to take a little look into my adorable stone brick cottage at how to set up scoreboards in Minecraft. So I had the basic setup of how a regular scoreboard would look in this command block. And then I also am going to talk about the three displays that you can set up for the scoreboard. And then I'm going to show you a little example of how it works. So the first thing you should know, this is the command block uh, texture. I'm just using a texture pack. And to get a command block, you're going to actually have to do slash give your name, the ID, which is 137, and then the amount of blocks that you'd like, so 64. This will give you 64 command blocks. This is the only way in the game to get them, unless you have a mod like NEI or too many items installed. Now, in order to edit a command block, you're actually going to be need to be in creative. So if you're doing this in your survival world, this isn't exactly cheating because you're just using it to probably keep track of stats. That's at least what I would do with it. So we're going to now look at the command block, and don't get afraid, this is a lot of complicated coding stuff. We have a simple little line here that's saying that the function we want to use is scoreboard. This is a function in Minecraft that sets up the scoreboard. So we have the scoreboard, and then we have objectives, and what objectives is saying is what we want it to do. Okay, and this directly relates to the total kill count, and we'll get into more things that you can put here uh, in a little bit. But we're going to add an objective, so we're going to do scoreboard, objectives, add, and then we're going to name it for, this is kind of our own self to keep track of it on the server. So if you wanted multiple scoreboards, if you're running a PvP server, you could choose kills, you could choose the name of the mini game. this doesn't matter, this right here, it can be anything you want. Then you do the function that you want it to be doing. So we're going to go with total kill count. Total kill count is going to take uh, keep track of player kills and mob kills in one. And I'll show you different ways of doing that in a little bit. But then this last one is what you want it to say in the display. So for instance, if we're going to set up the one on the right, which I'm sure a lot of you are used to, it's going to say this word right here is going to be on the top, and it's going to kind of be what the people think that you're actually keeping track of. So in our case, it's going to be kills. So we could set that up. And then we just apply a redstone pulse, and it's going to add the objective of kills. Okay? Now, right now, that's really not doing anything for us because we can't see a whole lot of anything involving that. So we're going to move on to where we can display it and we can actually see. So we have three ways to display a scoreboard in the game, and these are the only three ways. We have on the right side, which is going to be in this area over here. We have below the name. So when you're in F5, it's going to be your name, and then below it is going to be uh, the number of kills that you have in our case. And then we also have in the tab list, that's going to be when you press tab on a server, uh, the number of kills that you have in our case would be next to your name. Uh, I'll also show you a way that you can do this with your health on the server, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen in maps before. So for it to set it up on the right side, we're going to do the same slash scoreboard and then objectives. But then we're going to do set display, and this is kind of the main display function that you want to type in. Sidebar is telling you to go on the right, and then once again we have our kills right here. This corresponds to whatever you had over here. So you want to make sure that that is consistent with what you put in your scoreboard before. So when that's done. The below name is very similar, except you're going to take out the sidebar and you're going to put below name. The capitalization and everything does matter in these. So you want to copy it exactly as you see in this video. And then in the tab list, you're just going to type list. Uh, very simple, very easy. So then, as you know, this is going to activate all three of these. I don't know why I put buttons here and here. So we'll just activate that. And you'll see that the server is telling us that we've now displayed it in those three areas. And you can now see that they popped up. By hitting tab, you can see the zero next to my name because I haven't killed anything. And then on the right, you'll see that it kills. I have zero. Now, if we go out here, I'm sure there are some slimes that want to destroy me. So let's go find one, and we'll see exactly how this is going to work. So that's one kill, two kill, three kill, four kill, five kill, six kill, seven kill, and so on. So basically, that's going to be able to keep track of how many things you kill on your server, 
uh, or in your single player world if you enable cheats. Uh, I really, if you're one of those persons that's just like, this is cheating, let's not do it. This really isn't cheating, this is just keeping track of stats in a way that can only be achieved in creative mode. Uh, but once you go back to survival, you can easily go back, and then this is still going to work uh, in survival, as you can see right here. I now have 8 kills. So that works perfectly fine, oh hello. And you can track how many kills you actually get in your survival world. And once again, for PvP, this is even more useful because you can keep track of how many kills you have in your PvP game. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how to set up teams uh, in the game on your scoreboard so you can like team up with your friends against other people, uh, but that'll be in the next video. I just wanted to, real quick before this video ended, talk about the objectives that you can have. So we saw the total kill count in this one, but we can also do death count. So if you want to keep track of how many times you died, uh, just replace total kill count with death count in there. We also have the player kill count. That would be getting rid of the mob kills and only doing player kills. So that's good for PvP. You have health, which will show you at 20. And then once you get hit, uh, basically each heart that you have is going to be worth um, 1. It's going to be worth 2. And then a half a heart is worth 1. So you would have 20 all in all. And then for every time you get hit, it would go down. And you could see how much health is on each player. Achievement, you can actually track the achievements that people are getting on the right, and you can see, like, uh, so-and-so has one achievement that he's gotten, etc. Uh, stats, that shows you the stats in your options. Uh, I'm not sure if stats are still in your options. Yeah, there they are. Statistics. So you can actually track these in your uh, scoreboard. You can also do stat.craft items. You could say, and that's actually supposed to be a capital I right there, but you could say how many times a person has crafted a crafting table on your server. Uh, so it's kind of useful. Use item, break item, mine block, that's all kind of self-explanatory. Kill entity, that's basically saying uh, I would have 11 if we were tracking for slimes. And you could just see how many uh, different mobs you're killing. And then killed by, so I have not been killed by anything yet. Uh, hopefully, stupid slimes. But if I were to be killed by a slime and we set up a scoreboard for killed by slimes, uh, I would end up having one if I was killed by them. So that's kind of the only objectives out there that you can do, but keep in mind there are many uh, sub-objectives with the craft item and use item, etc. But these are the main uh, kind of things you can track with the scoreboard. The most useful is probably the total kill count, the player kill count, death count, and health. Uh, but for many different things that you're doing, these other ones can be useful. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, check out the next episode if you want to see how to set up teams in your game, but that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!